in London and we're going to Manchester to visit some stadiums. Yeah, it's freezing cold at the moment and obviously it'll get colder as we go up to uh, Manchester but uh, still excited. It was an absolute dream come true visiting Manchester United Stadium, also known as Old Trafford and the Theatre of Dreams. Being a Manchester United supporter, fan for most of my adult life, I couldn't believe what kind of an overwhelming feeling it had just being there, watching them on TV all these years and now actually getting to be behind the scenes where all the magic takes place. Walking through, looking at all the, the jerseys through the years, all the heroes, you know, for me, especially Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, it was it was very, uh, it was a very overwhelming feeling being this thing. Ryan Giggs, uh, Sir Bobby Charlton, Wayne Rooney, and I remember watching them, uh, you know, play those games and now being there where they were and looking at all the trophies just makes you feel like even prouder supporter. Just as we walked out of the trophy room, we saw a tribute to the late Nelson Mandela and to the African continent. As you continue walking through these rooms, you see a whole hall of legends. All of these people who have made Manchester United a great team that it is today. As we continue with our tour, we came across all of the kits that the Manchester United players have used throughout the years. The tour then takes you to the Hall of Managers, where you get a chance to see each manager's contribution through the years as Manchester United progresses to the team that it is today. As you can see, I'm pointing out Sir Alex Ferguson's contribution which we all know was one of the biggest contributions to a Manchester United club. Other managers included Ryan Giggs, Michael Carrick who were previous or former players and they had very small contributions for about a month or two. And lastly, not forgetting, Eric Ten Hag. And now, we come to one of my most personal favourite parts of this tour and that is getting a chance to go into the Manchester United dressing room. There's a very fun story behind how this dressing room had developed over the years. Okay, so fun fact, when Sir Alex Ferguson was the manager of Manchester United, he believed that the players lived in luxury so he just gave them a simple wooden bench. Whereas when Jose Mourinho took over, he wanted them to have a little bit more luxury and he wanted to be a little bit more sympathetic towards the players so he added a little black seat.
actually the Astro with the United players warm up. Actually at the Astro part of it, there's the Astro and there's the field right here. Do you want to play a game now? Oh, only. <laughs> We were pretty tired after the stadium tour, so we decided to check into our hotel for the night. We had booked at the Manchester South Hotel. This hotel has everything you would need for a short stay. It's very comfortable and affordable. I would definitely recommend staying at this hotel. Okay, so we're spending the morning here in Manchester. We just came down to the, the quay, in some type of outlet store or shopping mall. We went in, nice things to look at. Then we decided to get something to eat, and we went to this, uh, the Lowry just outside there. They had a small food market and some items for sale. Yeah, so uh, we managed to find this nice little spot here behind us, as you can see. Uh, it's got very nice benches alongside a very beautiful waterway. So it's a very picturesque spot to be in right now. Yeah. And now we're on our way to Manchester City. So now we have arrived at Manchester City. Just a few facts about the club. So the club was founded in 1880 as St. Mark's West Gorton. It became Ardwick Association Football Club in 1887 and Manchester City in 1894. The club's home ground is the city of Manchester Stadium in East Manchester which is known today as the Etihad Stadium. Manchester City first played in the top tier of the Football League in 1899 and won their first major honour with the FA Cup in 1904. The club's most successful period was from 1968 to 1970 when it won the League Championship, FA Cup, League Cup and European Cup winners under the management of Joe Mercer a Malcolm Allison. Since Pep Guardiola joined Manchester City in 2016, some of Man City's Premier League titles include the Premier League which they won three times since 2017 up until 2021. They won the FA Cup once in the 2018-2019 season. They won the League Cup four times in a row and they won the FA Community Shield twice. about to leave Manchester City Stadium. Uh, we've gone to the store to get some uh, official merchandise just as a keepsake and this brings us to the end of our Manchester tour. Well, so I'm a Manchester United supporter but if you like the colour blue and you like nice merchandise come down to the Manchester City Stadium, the Etihad Stadium and you'll find tons of uh, memorabilia you can get here and you can even go for the stadium uh, show that they offer here. Visiting the city of Manchester is an unforgettable experience. I have really enjoyed my time here in Manchester and would definitely visit again. And thus ends the tale of the two stadiums. And remember, Manchester will always be red.